Hello everyone. My name is Suzanne. Welcome to my little corner of A1R Psychic Radio. Thank you A1R Psychic Radio for allowing this to happen for me and the callers and listeners. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope that everyone is feeling love and feeling safe and I hope that everyone is kind to one another. Kindness is very, very important and love is very important. And this is a world in which we need it desperately, love and kindness. I also believe that God is love and love is action. So with that being said, if you appreciate the reading tonight, you can reach me at Psychic Pass either on Facebook or um, on YouTube or on the website, www.psychicpass.com. So I'm here tonight and it's Wednesday. I look forward all the time to Wednesday. I love being able to reach out and touch all of you. And it is my joy. So I am a clairvoyant and a light trance medium, which means that I can see past, present, and future, and I speak to past loved ones. I hope that you are having a great night, and I hope that you have a great rest of your week. And I'm just going to wait for a good caller to call so that we can continue. Um, we are in the middle of two solar eclipses, so our, our eclipses, the next one will be in Taurus. And Taurus is asking us to, to uh, be grounded and be, be right here on Earth where we need to be. Oh, we have Sarah from St. Anne, Missouri. Hello. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What can I help with tonight? Um, I was just wanting a reading. Is there anything that you want a reading for, or do you want it just in general? Um, just in general. Okay. Um, let me see what Spirit says. First off, Spirit wants you to know that you do have guardian angels and past loved ones around you. Um, you are not alone. You are never alone. Um, and your, your past loved ones on the other side and your guardian angels want you to know just how precious you are. That is what I get from spirit right away. Um, And I get uh, something has happened. Um, something, something keeps you uh, down or something keeps you going back to something. And spirit is well aware of that. And spirit does not want you to lose hope. Doesn't want you to lose uh, faith in the ability that, that you have the strength to go through whatever you go through. And that things can get better. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, there, there, there is a feeling of uh, why me or what have I them to deserve this and those though there's no answer to that that's not it's not does not compute with what's going on in your life right now um i feel as if you are you are feeling like like you can't take anymore and i i do understand that feeling um but you can and you will and the sun will come out tomorrow. But you have to have faith that 
greater and better things are ahead of what what's been and what what is gone. Um, first, you need the hope and the faith, because with that, no one can go on. And so I think that is why spirit is starting this this tonight with you need to have hope because you're not alone and and you are worthy of love and you are worthy uh, of being loved and cared for and to have good things. You have a, a divine seed inside of you that that you can just acknowledge that that you deserve good things because you are who you are. You're a human being and and you deserve good things. I feel like I feel like so much has happened to you that you've lost sight of some important things. Yeah. And spirit just wants you to to refocus and re-step back to to understanding um some things are nothing in this world is punishment. These things that happen that make us cry and upset and 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 feel bad are lessons. If you can and say, what have I learned from what I've been through? And you really do it truly, you can come up with some really good ways in which you've grown as a human being and how it's helped you learn to be a better human being. Strong, I don't know about going through really hard times and being strong, but I do understand going through really bad times and becoming tender, becoming softer. Um, you, you, you just need to know that, that you are not alone. That's what spirit is telling me. Um, and have you lost someone recently because uh, a gentleman is coming through? Um, not recently, but yes. Okay. Um, if it was within the last year, okay. But if it was in the last three months, I don't know if it, how clear it will be. Um, but someone does come through, and um, he's very sad that you've been very sad. And he's been trying to communicate, and I don't think I don't think it, it it's meeting the message. Um, I think you miss this person very, very much, and you're 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 not healed yet from it. That's what it feels like. And he hurts when you hurt, is what I'm getting. Um, he's showing me as a young person, and he's showing me as some kind of outdoor person, like really liking the outdoor life, um, outdoor activities. Um, He's telling me that that he died with something with his head, I think. Um, and it seems like an accident if if I'm reading him correctly. Um, but he's with you and and you're not alone as far as he goes either. Um, he wants to know he wants you to know that that you're special to him and that he is around you. Um, but I feel like when he does come around you, it just brings on more sadness, not a healing. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so the path forward would be to choose life and to choose to go forward, move forward, and and learn from whatever life is giving you to learn because i feel like as soon as you do that your life will change and this the these sad times and these traumatic incidences in your past 
will be a, a memory and, and not an expectation of what's worse to come, if, if I'm, I'm making sense. Sometimes I feel like I'm just um, gabbing, but I'm not. I know I'm not. Um, no. I just really... I just really want you to know that you're precious and you're loved from this side and that side and not to give up hope. You have to have hope. You have to, to move forward and go forward and realize that the, all the good things are on uh, moving forward. There's nothing backwards anymore. Just everything is forward. And, and I think you'll be okay. I think that you can get through this. I feel as if there's some kind of a, a DNA kind of um, feeling of, um, of expecting the worst. I feel like it's in your yeah. family to expect the worst. Like I always say, you know, when we were first human, we stand in the... the the, the opening of the cave and we would say what animal is going to kill us next <laughs> you know but that's not that's not a good way to start a day and that's not a good way to start a year and it's not not a good way to live so we have to be prepared for the good and expect the good and be be ready and able to deal with whatever hard times come our way because we have both we have both nothing is all a hundred percent bad and nothing is a hundred percent good you know there is a balance in our lives i just want you to be be able to say that you're going to try and have more hope and a lot yeah. of good things to happen i want you to be be open to all the good that the world has to offer you because the universe is working for you, not against you. And they're telling me that's why you're still here. You're still here because the universe wants good things for you. So I hope you can remember this and, and move forward with hope. Have both hope and faith. Because good things are going to be coming your way. I can promise you that. Okay. Okay. Um, please do. Please open up your heart to the good things. And I'm not going I'm not going to say anything about the bad things that to invalidate that. I'm not gonna invalidate it. Okay. Okay. All right, honey. Good night. Good night.